Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Articulate Thoughts, which is a personal blog of mine where I share some ideas, thoughts, and experiences, and observations about conscious dance, which is a movement practice that uses dance as a form of move meditation. So, um, today I feel like everything has come full circle for me in my own personal journey with dance and how it's experienced. And what I mean by that is, when I begin my journey, I was uh, a very young kid and I was doing choreography with my sister, or my sister would choreograph a dance and then I would learn the choreogra choreography and then we would present it in front of a church community. And that was kind of like how I thought dance was about, just about performing and, you know, just learning a set a sequence of movements to a song and then just moving along with that. I thought that's what dance was. And then that kind of fell away. And then the next step of my, in my journey with dance, I just was more associated with like the rave scene. And I, and I knew that there was something there with uh, going to a club or like, you know, a show with a, a DJ and just kind of expressing myself through that being on the dance floor. It, it was much more like my body was familiar with dancing from all the choreo choreography I was doing earlier as a kid, but I had the freedom to just do whatever I wanted. So my I had the somatic intelligence of movement and now was freely expressing it f for the first time. And it, it, was, it was very liberating and, and fun and exciting, but I got to a point where I was discouraged from participating in the rave scene just because of its association with like drug use and... Um, it felt a little bit off to me. And then that's when I kind of started investigating or I was more attracted to the conscious dance community. And I started with ecstatic dance um, in Toronto. And when I moved to Calgary, I started doing five rhythms and other forms of, or just different variations of ecstatic dance and free form movement. And so I was going through this journey and yesterday I took a class that kind of combined the two together. It is a class called Embody the Elements, and it's done through a company called Inner Journeys. And my roommate, uh, Kyra Newton, uh, is, is teaching this program. And I think she's taken the perfect balance between choreography and the professional technical aspects of dancing and combined it with like the conscious dance um, intention of using the dance as a form of expression and a way to explore emotions and... Mm -hmm. Um, just to freely move and to express oneself, and I think I thought it was very interesting because for me, like I never took a dance class in the past because I was really resistant against the idea of being in a room and telling, being told, this is what you should be moving like, and this is the wrong or right way to move, and I had a lot of resistance against that idea, um, and I think. Kyra had in mind like that, that there is a lot of resistance in people out there because well a lot of resistance to dance within people because there is this stigma of there is a right or wrong way to dance so it's interesting because she's taken that kind of idea but made it it's like a paradox of hey that here is a choreographed sequence and this is just something that you could use as a basis to explore things because I think if you're not a trained dancer or you're not familiar with movement and you're just kind of thrown into an ecstatic dance or some kind of you know conscious dance, it could be a little bit confusing or a little bit overwhelming, not really sure what to do and just so I think because like personally for me when I started going to the rave scene and you know exploring conscious dance, I had some level of you know movement competence because I was you know doing these choreographed dances with my sister. And I think playing a lot of DDR as, as in, in, my, in my high school years had a lot to do with that too. Like DDRs are really great. Uh, if For those who don't know what DDR is, it's, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. You go to a movie theater, there's these like big dancing machines. It has like these arrows on the floor and then there's like a screen with like arrows that kind of come up the screen. And then when it comes to the top, you kind of push the arrow on the, on the ground. So that's what DDR is. And I played a lot of that as a kid. And I think that in itself just helps people tap into rhythm and just moving the body along to music in sync. And I was also I also played a lot of music and that just kind of increased my musicality and my relationship to music. So when I wanted to learn or when I got into conscious dance, it was very easy for me to express myself. But, you know, I, I think there's a huge gap between getting to there and like having no movement and then 
if an individual goes to some sort of like formal dance class, could be that could be very overwhelming too because the instructor is going to be, hey, this is what you do and this is the right way to do it. This is the wrong way to do it. And being criticized with your how you're moving your body could be a very traumatic thing, I think. And uh, yeah, I, I think my, my roommate... And I, we've discussed it, uh, like, the, like, just like the contrast between choreographed dance and, you know, just being disciplined in a dance structure of some sort, and then doing conscious dance and like how to create like a bridge between the two. And now she's actually manifested this program and she's teaching it and it's really great. And for me, it's like a full circle because I, I, I started with the choreo choreography and just kind of, it was very informal. It wasn't like I went to a school and learned the movements, but like it was still a choreogra choreography that my sister put together. And it was a, a specific sequence of movements that had to be executed a certain way in a certain you know, timing and all that. And then I kind of went through my own journey through there. But it was just really cool because like now it's not like anything that's overly formal, but it's not too loosey-goosey. There's still a, a strong structure there. So... Um, this is the thing I've been kind of playing around with and I'm really enjoying it. So um, much thanks to Kyra and for Kylie for putting this uh, program together. And hopefully I'll bust out some of these moves that I'm learning in these classes on some other the conscious dance that I'll be in in the next little while. So thanks for tuning in if you're listening. And if not, then inshallah. <laughs>